What is up guys, Slamming4 here, bring you a little war game tutorial video. And the subject of this tutorial video is going to be on hotkeys. Um, hotkeys are probably the most important thing. Whenever whenever I um I'm talking to like a new player and they're they're completely new to the game, hotkeys is probably one of the first things I mention to them that they need to work on. Because um Basically, they will improve your game immensely. If you're not using them, you need to start immediately, and hopefully this video gives you a slight idea of how to um, do that. So, there are, a couple, there are about four types of different hotkeys, and we'll talk about them each in their turn. So we'll start with uh, group hotkeys. You can hotkey units or structures to a particular group, one through uh, zero on your number key, uh, on your keyboard and how you do it is you simply select a unit or say select a building, I'm going to select my castle I hit control, hold down control and hit six and I can just then tap six and I select it and if I double tap it, it jumps to location so it's a really useful uh, tool um, to use um, let's see here. Basically, you want to use the hotkeys for two. Re this this hotkey for two reasons, particularly, um, either for production. For example, I hotkey my castle and hotkey my to uh, six. I'm gonna hotkey my two dragons, uh, dragons nest to four, and I can then quickly select them to build units. Um. The other thing you can do is hotkey units. For example, if I send out a scouting uh, worker, I'm going to hotkey it to 2, send it to the other base, and that way I can quickly, uh, while I'm sitting here macroing, I can quickly jump to that unit by just tapping, double tapping 2. Um, and it, definitely it's, it's something that I'll take some getting used to, but I can't emphasize enough how important it is to use these hotkeys. Uh, probably using like army hotkeys is not quite as important, but I, using production hotkeys is really important because. Uh, well, actually, I, I should probably talk about the second type of hotkeys, which is production hotkeys, which is kind of connected to uh, your control group hotkeys. So, like down here, you can see. I can click on that to build a dragon, or I can hit Q. I can also hit R to cancel it, so if I want to cancel a unit, I have to just hit R there. Um, this is a very strange map, by the way. So using these two type of hotkeys in conjunction, army hotkeys and, or yeah, control group hotkeys rather, and uh, production hotkeys, you can quickly uh, continue building units without having to look at your base and without having to actually select the buildings or click down here. And uh, mostly when you're building stuff, you never want to be clicking down here like almost ever in in, in game. You want to memorize those hotkeys and the production hotkeys and use them. Most important production hotkey perhaps is the, your uh, worker hotkeys for building units. You can see I hit Q down here or W to open my advanced tab and then each building has its a hotkey assigned to it so I simply hit that hotkey and I can build that unit, that building I want to build Dragon's Nest, Castle, Mage's Guild, Catapult all that good stuff and using these production hotkeys will make your um, it'll give you it'll make it so that you can build your buildings much faster and you can build your units much better with less time taken um, is that my ally? I think it's my ally this map is super confusing to be honest, oh no it's not my ally oh yeah it is my ally whatever um, I'm gonna hockey these dragons to group 1 uh, as you can see I can quickly throw down more buildings without having to usually waste time unless I'm confused by my placement 
Anyway, so that covers production and army control hockey. The third, uh, or this, yeah, the third type of hockey I want to talk about is the ability hockey. And actually, let's build a. Um, don't have any units with have abilities, so we'll just talk about this a little bit. Uh, for example, select a dragon. You can see down here uh, there's three different abilities here, and these are like probably the most basic abilities you can have. The most important one is definitely attack. I'm sure most people already know about this ability. But yeah, you just hit A and your units will attack. You can hit D and it'll automatically hold position. They won't chase units, which is very useful if you want to hold chokes and you don't want your units wandering away and dying. Um, and of course you have S, which does the same thing as hold position, of course you need to stop it and then they will continue to chase, so. Uh, and there's all sorts of different unit abilities, for example dropships, which I, if I had foresight I would have built a dropship for you guys to see this. Dropships have a drop ability and uh, catapults have a attack ability as well. But what's important to note is you never want to be hitting these abilities by clicking down here, like having to hit A and then attack like this is, is really bad. You never want to be doing that, because it's going to waste time, it's going to waste your attention. You don't want to be looking down here when you're looking at the battle. You want to be just hitting A every time. And it's the same with when you're making catapults you want to hit. For example, uh... Oh, we lost my ally, I didn't realize that. Okay, whatever. We didn't need him anyway, he was a scrub. Um, no offense intended. Uh, so what was I saying? Yeah, so you don't ever want to be looking down here or clicking down here, pretty much ever. A bit supply blocked. Let's cancel these dragons. Um, so, like, it, you, you, you're gonna never be using these abilities, so you have to memorize the hotkeys. So that's like the important focus of this video, is memorize those hotkeys and make sure you know them very well. We don't want that. I guess we need another castle since my ally quit. Uh, let's see, the fourth type of hotkey we're going to go over very briefly is the camera control hotkey. You can set that by using the uh, F1 through, I think, F12 key. Let's see if F12 works. No. Maybe it's F. Maybe it's up to like F7 or 6. I don't even know. Point is, hold down Shift and hit like F1, for example and you can set a camera location on your screen so you'll always jump to that location um sorry about that so you'll always jump to that location so i'm sitting here micro my dragons then i notice that i'm supply block boom i jump back to my base and throw down a house if i have the money and this means you'll just, it, 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 it streamlines your play. You don't have to waste time microing stuff, or you don't have to waste time doing things you like just scrolling across the map. You can quickly jump to places. And that's the key with hockey. It's all about streamlining your play and making your play more smooth. Um, let's see, what did I cover already? And this is just, uh,. Let's kill this house. Dragons are so good on this map. This is like supposed to be a dragon versus dragon map, so I guess. Which is strange, but whatever. I need upgrades on my dragons. Also, one thing I should note about hotkeys is you can customize them. All the hotkeys can be completely customized, even spectator hotkeys, camera location hotkeys, control blue hotkeys, all that good stuff. So, for example, if you don't like R for your upgrade to Fortress, you can change it to, like, T. I like it on R, so. And honestly, the hotkeys are pretty nicely laid out. Like, they're all laid out kind of in a grid. So, like, where your hand will usually sit on a keyboard, uh, like, around the WSAD keys. And you can see the upgrade. The upgrades are, like, lined up just how your fingers lay on the, the keyboard. So, like, uh, Q, W, this is... For example, let's take a worker, you can go Q, W, E, R, T, and then your second row is A, S, D, F. So that makes it quite a bit easier to um, 
use those hotkeys. But the point I'm trying to make here is, if you don't use hotkeys, you need to start using hotkeys. Um, they're absolutely the most important thing for a new player if you're not using them. They'll improve your play immensely, they make you play much faster, um, and it may seem daunting at times just to, uh, it may, see, it may seem slightly daunting to learn them if you've never done so, but I can assure you that uh, it'll be worth it, and it'll make you a much better player. And a quick thing about uh, the production hockeys, I kind of, this is a bit of a, uh, shall we say, uh, random video. But, um, what I'd like to emphasize when it comes to production hotkeys is set like a, a always set your buildings to the same hotkey, I'd say, every game. So, for example, I always put my castle on 6 every single game. And eventually you get the muscle memory, so you'll always hit 6 when you want to build a worker, or 6E whenever you want to build a worker. And then I've always put my wolf dens on 5, so whenever I'm playing with wolves, I immediately will, boom, hit the wolf's den on 5. And then Rax is on 4, Dragon's Lair is on 4, depending on whether I'm playing Beast or Rax. And if you do that, uh, you'll basically just build the muscle memory. And it's, uh... It'll help you learn all the hotkeys. And if you're like a new player and you've never tried to use hotkeys before, what I'd recommend you do is just load up a game versus an AI. Um, the AI is not very good in this game. So I'd say, uh... What you can do is like just play the game regularly, kill the AI until you just have like a single building left, and then just practice your hotkeys. Like build a bunch of castles, you have plenty of gold, practice building buildings, practice queuing up units and stuff. Um, just until you can memorize and you can quickly build units uh, and upgrades and all that good stuff without any... Ooh, I'm messing up my build. I was trying to go for a proxy. Oh well. Um, this is actually pretty bad, but whatever. We'll just put that there, because why not? Um, and I guess I just got sucked into another game, so we might as well just try to finish this game off. And maybe you guys can kind of see how I use these hotkeys throughout this game. I put my wolves on five. I'm gonna hot immediately hockey that wolf to group one. My castle's on six. Den's on five. I'm gonna put this on four. I can quickly cycle between them if I want to. And we're going to just put some pressure on. This is a build I've been kind of trying out. This player is, is okay, but not particularly good. So I'm very comfortable playing against him. I think I can easily beat him. No offense intended. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a big mistake. It doesn't matter too much because I can just queue up another wolf immediately and I'm already maxed out supply. Did I overbuild workers? No, I didn't. Okay. Don't lose wolves, guys. Don't play like me. That's the one thing you can learn from my tutorials. Okay. How's that thing coming along? House is almost done. Don't lose a wolf. Alright, I think this is going pretty decent. I, I, what I'm really trying to do with this worker is get a um, get a tower down, like right here, so you can fire over here. And this fight is really good. Lost my worker, but that's fine. I'm just going to rebuild it. One thing to note on this map, and something I kind of learned recently, is archers are... I'd say archers are better than soldiers because of the high ground for, like, defending. Don't attack that, scrub. There's my worker. No, run away. So this is perfectly fine. Looks like we got more ladder points, guys. 
more beautiful ladder points. Don't kill my archers. Alright. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope it didn't get too long. I didn't mean to play two games, but it just somehow happened that way. And uh, I'll catch you later.